Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Taurus. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Taurus placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. At the end of the reading, I will pull you some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. I do only take Jumpers Taurus, so I appreciate your patience. And time is also elusive. We are all on different timelines. As well as all personal information, personal, not personal, no, not my personal information, okay? Chill. Personal reading information is available in the description box for you guys. All right, let's go. First card out, strongest energy is the Four of Cups this week for you, Taurus, followed by the full card, Major Arcana, and the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. What is going on? Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I knew it was something like that. Some of you got love woes. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Some of you definitely got well, love woes. King of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign that you are dealing with. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Definitely King of Pentacles is you. The past year, Four of, Pente Four of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. The Two of Cups represents some sort of connection that you have with somebody. Friend, family member, lover. It can be different. Love is not only romantic, right? Some of you, it's definitely romantic. But with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands, it's almost as if... The Nine of Wands is a sense of somebody not giving up. Somebody wanting to fight for whatever this connection is representing. The both of you could not want to lose this connection. The Four of Cups also kind of speaks to that. The Four of Cups is more so a sense of being focused on the wrong things. And that is what more so can um, cause someone to lose something instead of focusing on the magic of the connection, focusing on like, you know, the shit that doesn't really matter. The shit that doesn't really matter. The Four of Pentacles, the Four of Cups can also be a sense of a missed opportunity. So saying don't miss the opportunity of this connection that is right in front of you, being focused on things you have no business being focused on based on some sort of past experience here could be for the both of you that resonates the full card the seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles i don't know this looks like someone left <laughs> this looks like someone said f it i don't want to invest in this this is not worth my investment the nine of pentacles is usually an independent card someone that is single someone that prefers you know solitude independence and the Seven of Pentacles is all about, you know, is this worth my time? Is this worth my energy? The Fool card and the Nine of Pentacles tells me someone has decided it's not worth the time. It's not worth the energy. Hence, all this gray energy we're seeing in the future here. The Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Four of Swords. This is Heartbreak Hotel. Someone is in Heartbreak Hotel. And not only are they in Heartbreak Hotel, but they want to spin the block. They sure do. Yeah, they want to come back. They can't forget about you. Six of Cups is all about that nostalgia. Should have, not, not should have, could have. Um, the good old days, you know? And if Spin the Block was a card, it would be the Wheel of Fortune. Well, actually, it would be the Judgment card. But the Wheel of Fortune can make good second. It's like a second chance. Someone would love another chance if they were to be blessed enough to get it. Because it doesn't look like you're bothered either way. Obviously, pick what side you're on. You could be the one that wants the other, the second chance, or you could be the single person because it looks like the person that wants to come back could have been the one to release the connection. And they're feeling it. Five of Pentacles is all about loss, loneliness. The Three of Swords is someone that's definitely heartbroken. More emphasis on loss. And the Four of Swords is saying, you know, healing. There's definitely no talking. Sort of, you're in my, I'm in my corner, you're in your corner type of energy. But this also signifies a break. So somebody is interpreting this as a break, which means it's just a, a, a you know, a short time of separation because they miss you. They definitely miss you. Five of Pentacles, they definitely miss you. They're feeling it. They are feeling it. Okay. <laughs> and the Hermit, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely has um, a lot of realizations. But this is also someone that is deliberately sort of keeping themselves uh, away. 
Heavy emphasis on our earth sign, Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy here. Very much dark night of the soul energy someone is going through. It's like it all started great, but you see they were focused on the wrong things. That's what got him here. Someone was focusing on the wrong things. Now they want to work it out and, you know, get back on track and be a, a team again. They want to cooperate. They want to fight for the connection. Definitely looks like they're having different perspectives. Okay. Romance reading. What is the guidance for Taurus, please? Whoops. It's a bit too much. One card for Taurus, please, if this is a romantic reading. So you know what side you fit. Engagement. Whoa. Your love life is descending to a higher level of commitment. Possible. Um, finances and career or financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, I get it. Someone's a workaholic or was a workaholic. King of Pentacles, this is where the focus was. This is this is what they were not supposed to be focused on. The everyday stuff, right? Going to work, making money, when they weren't focused on the, the gift of love that was granted to them, which is this Two of Cups, mutual love, which is rare these days, trust me. It's always on some one-sided-ish. So if you got someone that rocks with you, rock back, right? Like if you can feel that person's rock back. All right. Someone was a workaholic. I mean, that's not that's not too bad. <laughs> that's not too bad. Conversation can fix that if you will allow it. Guidance, please. The first. They didn't prioritize the relationship based on past experience. As they say, love don't pay the bills, right? Liberating love. Mm-hmm. I allow myself to receive all the fulfillment I'm willing to give. Didn't I just say that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guidance, please, for Taurus. Liberating love. That's what it's all about. Someone needs to liberate the love. That's what the fool is about. A liberation. If liberation was a card, it would be the fool. Allowing themselves to love. Allowing themselves to prioritize love. Um, butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Scorpio season could also be important to you. Could be timing. Taurus. Taurus, you might be dealing with another earth sign. Virgo in particular. Divorce. Experiencing a breakup. Definitely what this person's experiencing. They definitely experiencing a breakup. That's all this right here. Guidance, please. Thank you. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. What did I say? Nothing a conversation can't fix. There will be a conversation. There will be a conversation. The answers you need are coming. Someone's going to want to talk. They want to talk about it. And this one for Taurus, please. Can we just talk? I'm not going to sing it. That's what I'm hearing. That's too many. Taurus, one card. One card for Taurus, please. I'm not going to pick it. Taurus. It's like all or nothing. One, please. One card for Taurus. Okay, thank you. Yes. I just said, is it all or nothing? Yes. Focus. That is your reading, Taurus. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.